We interrupt all programming to bring you this contagious disease warning. All broadcast stations and cable systems in Illinois shall transmit this message. Around 15 minutes ago, the bomb that was placed in Willis Tower in Chicago is detonated causing mass damage and destruction to and around the area. The Chicago police has reported that a green misty substance has been reported above the Sears Tower. The Centers for Disease Control is asking everyone near and around Chicago to turn off all heat and ventilation systems for safety precaution. The CDC believes this is a non-harmful substance, but rather a result of the bomb exploding. The CDC is advising everyone in Chicago and everyone near or around Chicago to shelter in place and to put as many objects between you and an interior wall as possible to prevent your risk of a potential dangerous chemical. The CDC is investigating this situation. More information will be broadcast as it becomes available. The CDC is investigating this situation. More information will be broadcasted as it becomes available. hazard for the state of Illinois. The following is a broadcast from the Centers for Disease Control. The green misty substance that was reported floating in the air 50 minutes ago has reportedly grown in size over that period. Now the CDC is reporting that this green mist is indifferently and intentionally poison of some sort. The CDC has just confirmed this. The CDC has reported that the green mist has a deadly amount of gamma. Stay indoors, stay away from all windows. Get into an interior room with no windows now. Put as many household everyday object between you and an interior room. The CDC is expecting this green air mist to grow in the next few hours. The CDC is planning how to prevent this from spreading to other states. More information will follow shortly. We interrupt your programming. This is a national emergency. The following message is being transmitted by order of the United States government and the Federal Emergency Management Agency. From the CDC understanding and reports, the green mist has reportedly grown the size of the state of Illinois. The United States government has a loss to explain this phenomenon. Keep in mind that the serial killers are still reported. We interrupt that broadcast. This is an important bulletin from the Centers for Disease Control, just a few minutes ago. The CDC has found a disease inside of the green mist. This disease is named the ISP virus if you have the following symptoms, pain in legs, nausea and vomiting, easily angered. Report any of these activities to your local police immediately. You are listening to the Illinois State Emergency Alert System. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this message in the state of Illinois. Please do not leave your homes until it a local officials deem it is safe to do so. The emergency alert system has been activated until further notice.
The following is a broadcast from the Centers for Disease Control. Just a few minutes ago Jack Cooley was found unresponsive in the Willis Tower in downtown Chicago. This has just been confirmed by multiple news sources and government agencies. The Willis Tower is under lockdown until further notice due to the current situation. The Chicago police has just reported a suspicious man leaving the scene just now. The description is, gender male, ethnicity, white American, hair color, black, age projection. 26 and he was last seen wearing an Adidas jacket. This person is supposedly armed and dangerous. The Chicago police has just reported that Jack Cooley, age 20 is being transported to Mercy Hospital and Medical Center. The emergency alert system has been activated. The following is a transmission from the Centers for Disease Control. At around 3.03 a.m. Central Daylight Time, it has been confirmed that Jack Cooley has been revived successfully. Mercy Hospital and Medical Center has found by blood test from Jack that greenish serum has been reported in Jack Cooley's bloodstream. The Chicago police has concluded that the person who left the scene eight hours ago is the new suspect. The greenish liquid has been taken out of Jack Cooley's body successfully. Jack Cooley has just made a confirmation on the person's description the name of the suspect is Chase Parker age confirmed to be 26 years of age. More information will be released as it becomes available, the emergency alert system has been activated. The following message is being transmitted by the Federal Emergency Management Agency. Jack Cooley and other people who were attacking populous cities in the United States has been found in the same serum. This has been confirmed by both the CDC and the United States government. All actions committed by the are deemed cause of Chase Parker. The 16s were reportedly abducted by Chase and was injected with the serum with the intent to kill. I repeat, all actions committed by the are deemed cause of Chase Parker. The 16s were reportedly abducted by Chase and was injected with the serum with the intent to kill. Please stand by as an update will release for your local area shortly. Chase Parker has just been reported in a standoff between Chicago Police, the National Guard and the United States military. This has just been confirmed by many news sources. The Chicago Police now reports us that Jack Cooley is under hostage. Chase Parker is intending to kill Jack Cooley if Chicago police does not meet his demands. The Chicago police is trying to handle the dispute with no death involved. Please stay tuned to this station for all the latest news and updates.